Alright, what's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Aiden, and today we're watching The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf. A brand new animated movie by Netflix in the world of The Witcher that has just released today. And I am very excited to see how this plays out. I'm going in fairly blind to what this movie itself is about. Obviously, I, I know the Witcher franchise. I haven't read the books yet, but I've played all of the games a lot, and obviously the Netflix uh, series as well. So it's going to be interesting to see where exactly they go with this movie. Do they continue with and, and play off of what was in the books? Is it a completely new story? I'm not sure. From what I can quickly see from the synopsis is that the movie is featuring Vesemir, or young Vesemir, which is actually really interesting. In the games he is shown to be quite a, a lovable character, I think, almost like a father figure to Geralt and also looked after Ciri. But apart from a few drunken tales that you've heard from Geralt and a few of the other witches, you don't really, well, I don't really know much about Vesemir. Obviously he's managed to survive for so long, so he's obviously a decent monster hunter. But how did he rise to become into the position of power that he managed to? You know, the head of Kaer Morin and respected by a lot of the witches from the School of the Wolf. I also noticed, I saw on Twitter, that Netflix posted a few images of the characters, and Phil Evangel, the King of the Elves, was in there, which is interesting. So does that mean this is, is this before the, the Great Cleansing, or is this as it going on? There's a lot to see. I just quickly googled and to see how it's being perceived so far and a lot of the reviews seem to be positive. There's only 11 reviews so far on Rotten Tomatoes. It's the write-ups from journalists, so I don't know if I trust it per se, but so far it's 100%, which puts it quite high on the pedestal. Does it, does it live up to the 100%? I'm not sure. 9.6 out of 10 on IMDb. So yeah, I, I didn't see any of the trailers or teasers for the, this movie. I purposely avoided it. I, I was going to react to the trailers, but I was uh, a bit late to that, so I didn't do it. But yeah, before we get into this, if you enjoy this reaction and review, make sure you leave a like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with what I upload next. I did just do a reaction and review to Sweet Girl, which was another movie featuring Jason Momoa that came out on Netflix, and I enjoyed it. I know it seems a lot of people didn't, you know, everyone's a critic, but oh, I thought it was, a, it was a fun movie, so if you're interested in that, that's obviously the most recent reaction. Also, comment down below what you thought about this movie, and your ideas on the the Witcher franchise in general. Do you think it's worth me going back and reading the books, even though I've watched the, I'm watching the series as it's coming along now, and played the games? I know the games aren't supposed to be canon, but I, I probably will. I probably will go back at some point. It's just, it's a lot to invest, a lot of time to invest into getting them all done. Also, the full-length reaction to this movie is likely going to be free. Also, the full-length reaction to The Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf will likely be for free. The link will be down in the description below. I will be hosting it on my Patreon, but again, it will be a free link for everyone. Okay, let's get into this. A Netflix original anime film. Wow, I'm looking forward to watching this. 
ever since I saw it pop up. See, I've seen a lot of people compare this to Netflix's Castlevania, their anime. And I've heard that's pretty good as well. So maybe I'll have to give that a, uh, a watch. See, the witches always hit it off with their music selection in their media. It's, it's so fitting, it's scary, you know? It's like a little tune you'd hear in the woods with a witch, you know? Is it true, Papa? Are bandits still innocent along this trail? Oh, come on. There are no <laughs> Oh, fuck. What is this tentacle shit? Oh, that's so much worse than bandits. Don't you wish it was bandits now? Okay, okay, right. Oh. Okay, okay, so they're, they're killing kids in this. Okay, I know where they're going now. That's fine. <laughs> Gonna be prepared for that. I mean, whoever that is, you know, at least he's safe, hidden away a little bit. Oh, okay, that's Vesemir, young Vesemir. I'm gonna see him in action. See what he can do. Hmm. Fancy look. What is that? It's good. Whatever it is, it's dark magic. Converse. Little foreplay. Yeah, yeah, especially when one's about to kill the other. So you wish. I mean, that's a creepy fucking monster right there. Uh, look at those gnashes. Oh no, where is dental planners? I mean, is that gonna work? Is it that easy? Okay, okay. And that's the intro. A rotting wolf carcass. The skull is kind of melting away. It's cool, that's cool. It's noble blood, like that means anything. <laughs> like being noble <sighs> means you are. More important, worth saving. I don't know about that. Yeah, leave you because you said that. Honest, simple peasants who ascribe all misfortune to spells and monsters. Mages create the Witcher. Then presume it's our duty to hold the bucket and mop up their brown mess. You had an issue with it, you shouldn't have done it in the first place. <laughs> right. I'm of Lady Zan. People don't trust the uh, the witches. The witches remain at Kaer Morin. At least until such time as evidence is provided. I mean, the, the witches have actually been useful. Yeah, you might have a couple bad apples, but I mean, that's life. Just like with the, the witches and the sorceresses. Plenty of bad ones in that group. Okay, this is Phil Evangel. Okay, so is this before the uh, before you became king? What after? If it was after, he wouldn't be here, would he? Sorry. The first who feared me nearly deserted himself to the last pansy. Despair set the scold. Tragic, really, very terrible. Okay, so he mentioned the cleansing. So that has happened then. Elf wrangling and even the murderous ones, but good luck. Of course, <laughs> you've got to have a uh, witcher butt. And I made sure witcher butt, okay. <laughs> no magic. All witches murdered for mere riches. Mm, good call. Imagine if you elves wielded your swords as well as you do guilt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the witches definitely just seem to live for the, the now, you know. And coin gets you that, live in the moment. So stay away from the politics of everything. Yeah, at least my son 
means a measure of your generous character. Head to the market. We will need blue gum to sedate our lonely. Try not to cough it up. Ah. He just can't live up to what he needs to. He's not good enough. And he's treated poorly. We slave away all day long getting shouts at us. And the only coin we get is when we're sent to fetch them goods. Just be happy you have a roof over your head in your bed. Yeah, I mean, that's better than a lot of people during this time, I'd imagine. There's a lot of poverty going on. Um, yeah, you've got to collect a few things, do a few errands, but, I mean, life could be so much worse right now. I want this sucker alive and kicking. If possible. I see how that part. Oh, your blue flames. It's kind of seance. Oh no, shit, that's disgusting, that's disgusting. Oh god, it's a weird spider monkey thing. What the, f what the fuck, what the hell is this exorcist? Jesus Christ. Now that's an introduction into becoming a witcher. Slaying monsters. Nice weight, isn't it? How much is the dying used to job cost that guy? Fear and ignorance are good business. Are you certain this is enough? Awesome. He sees that and he knows the direction for glory. Is he going to leave his family? Well, he's got to find his way, obviously, but he's got to prove himself, first of all, that he can actually slay. He's got the mental fortitude to stay in the battle. He can't separate himself from the politics and people's feelings. Do you find our fates funny? Why should I be meek and penniless like my father, or you like your mother? What's got you so scared? You will understand. Vesemir, out there we're nothing. Less than nothing. At least here at the estate we have... Yeah, but you're still nothing though. That's the thing. No lasting impact on the world. And yeah, your dreams aren't going to come true by changing your bedpans. You're going to be li living at the bottom. Just one step above the people living on the streets. Okay, so what you're going to choose is a life of freedom. Or at least what he thinks it, it is. Or staying in your gravel town for a girl. I don't know if it's a hard choice. I don't know if it's a hard choice. And I mean, we know which choice he actually made, so. Right, yeah. Leaving her present and then going off on his own on this journey. Yeah, this is going to be a tough journey for him. Is he travelling to Kaer Morhen? Alone? As a kid. I mean, it's going to be tough, but I mean, if he manages to do it, that shows his metal. No, his willingness to put himself through that journey. Oh, yeah, and this is when Kaer Morhen was actually quite busy, wasn't it? Was it in the games? It was uh, at its end, pretty much. Am I being punished? I'm done with two peasant witches and a hunter. Wimps and employ another more lucrative nonsense. So we'll all be slogging next week. Okay, yeah, so the witcher in trade is slowly going out of business. 
like I said, as the monsters get slain, there are less ways for them to make money in their trade. The trial of the grasses, I know. I get scared too. Then I think soon I'll be out on the path, stronger than most anyone, wanting for nothing. I'll never be scared again. I mean, surely even witches get scared though. Yeah, you're great fighters, but you are still going to be out of your element in a lot of places. Oh God, where is he? What this happened? What happened? Right, it's okay. Not it's not swords. We follow the moon until we're clear. If there's a monster close, your medallion will. Oh shit. There actually is a monster. I mean, do you fight it? Do you run away? Race, okay. Stay together. Oh god. This is just slaughtering the kids. All of them. Is that really all of them? It may as age quite slowly. Witches do too. Gives us both decades to hone our respective skills. The trials are only part of my duty, though. Don't fear. It's merely a side effect of this high energy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'd say. And it's still alive as well. A living or as yeah, it's not a living autopsy. Even for a monster, that's very cool. But that's the mages for you, isn't it? And the witches. And you die, I think. A witcher deserves to understand its place in history its place okay so that is how you are you're viewed in this society even by the people making you your father is dead Cadwin took our village and he was killed while helping the lord and lady escape oh shit I mean at the very least he's survived that battle you know he wouldn't have if that was if he was still there I am well fed and at peace I mean, good for her. There's little to miss in our burnt out town. She gets to live an actual nice life away from the pains of reality. <laughs> While Vesemir is going through a horrible mutation, transition to become the man he is today. We need more before the next tale. <laughs> you know that midwife should have hired a better saviour. A man of virtue and honour. Yeah, like it matters. Save nonetheless, does it matter? Uh, a knight is going to start a fight. It's virtuous of you. So you're going to, yeah, you get attacked. And executed, no questions asked. Silly me. Here I thought trials were all right. Yeah, th this mage is just so, he's thick. He's absolutely thick. She jumps to these conclusions because she hates. But the, the knight started it. Stupid, stupid person. Okay, yeah, so they've all been arrested. Like this pain noise. I are you eager for a beating, mutant? I'd settle for a pot to piss in and some halfway decent bread, please. So yeah, don't be going in there trying to uh, actually <laughs> say you're not gonna try and fight with the the witcher. Or they're in the games, everyone seems to do that. Like they know who Geralt is, but that somehow they still think they can do it. Not like when we were younger. <laughs> I knew witches age differently as it progressed. Oh my god, is that her? It is her, Eliana, yes. I did pick up on that. Still a mage. We didn't ever get that luxury. Lake House. Oh my, the lake house. No, Lance, no. But a knight came, turned it into an orphanage after my husband passed. Yeah, so she did manage to live a nice life then, you know, all things considered. She's in a nice position right now, in court. Ah, let the cook pour you a feast meal, cut them in on the plate. Nice one, wish I thought of it. 
As I said, corrupted. I mean, it's hard to stay and live by the rules when the people setting the rules despise your kind. Why, why would you, for their sake? Her powers of illusion are unnatural. First monster I ever encountered was a monster. Made a woman who seemed nightmarish was actually there. Illusion. Kitsu's an elf. Then why does she sound like a narf? Yeah, I'm on the side of the Witcher, I think. Someone who's plied his trade for many years now. Before repurposing it as a garrison during the last pendant. Knows what he's talking about. No signs of blood. Still small her though. Yeah. So it's such an interesting character to watch a Witcher. Seeing how great they are at detecting and investigating a scene using their different senses, how they can smell where someone's been there. Like in the Witcher series, how Witcher could, or Geralt could smell what was happening on uh, King Foltest's sister's sheets. Interesting, really. Oh, okay, that's far. So, piles of Bodies. Oven, yeah. Oven girl. Okay, that's what Philip Andrew was talking about, right? I tried to hear. I tried stopping her, but Kitsu's power. And she just let you live. I understand if that's a concept after you know it is your kind. If Kitsu was you. Yeah, her kind meaning humans. Who just slaughter elves because they feel like it. Oh shit. It might okay, it might actually be then. Another monstrosity. Okay, who is this? She's still an elf. That's exactly why she should take another shot. And the slay the mage as well, do it. The world would be better. What's that? Is it pigmentation of her skin. Is it changing? Or is that just dirt? I'm not sure. I didn't come off. So she just collapsed in the mountain because she... Okay, or she just trying to bury that place. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm trying to fill it up so it can't be used. I try to stop him. But witches, they never hesitate. Wait, did she just bury it and blame it on the witcher? You dirty cunt. Monstrosity has terrorized my kingdom and swindles the people. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, this is uh, and now you're trusting this dumbass mage. I mean, they certainly know how to piss me off. If that's what they're going for, they've definitely done it, definitely done it. You are always too focused on the gold in your hand. You never look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a sad reality. I mean, that's the reality of this world, right? The humans are incredibly hateful and ignorant in this world. And a 
okay, you're going to play to certain morals that they set, the humans set, but end of the day, they don't want you to be living in the first place. They don't give a fuck about you. Okay, so she's put together a mob so she can do her bidding. Not very pure of her, is it? So I'm assuming the mages are actually going to die then, since by the time the games come around, no more witches can be made, right? Or at least they decided not to. I, I can't quite know, it's been a, a while. Right, she's starting now. They need to slay right now. Swing right now. She's giving this half-breed the actual powers. Now she doesn't care about the half-breeds. She just cares about getting her point. And winning favour in court. Switches! On me! Oh, they're all going to use odd. <laughs> they blast him away. Now! Yes. Instantly deal with them all. Wait, was that? Was that Geralt? With a white skin. Yeah, this witch. Witches must be wiped from the surface of this earth, and all the traces strewn with salt and saltpeter. Yeah, she hates witches so much that she's willing to let these monsters win. She's not going to slaughter the monsters. Yes. Let's fight way through. Keep slaughtering. See, the monsters in this seem so much more fearsome, gruesome, than in the shows. I guess, well, so you can, they're being drawn, aren't they? So you just use your imagination easier. Just being slaughtered, yeah. The witches are dwindling fast. I mean, yeah, the mechanics it's using with the grapple chain is so cool. See, I wish I had something like that in the game. That's similar to uh, Terraria if you've played that. So in his thoughts, they're together. The life he wishes he had, I don't know. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, so it's Kitsu that's playing with his mind. Okay, that makes sense. He's trying to play on his biggest weaknesses and fears. Yeah, okay, yeah. That was Kitsu. Yes, mate, you killed him. Now it's a battle with the witch. I mean, bitch. Has to use her sorceress abilities to have any chance. Yes, you got him. You got her. Now it's left of this thing. Done with it. Nice. Or is it? No! No, it was the illusions! No! What the fuck? 
No, of course. Of course, that's what it was. Oh, no. There's a man. And he slaughtered. Oh, my God. Monsters to kill monsters. Yes. Yes, it was hatred based on a bad experience. You had one bad experience in a life of hatred. To the point where you're going to cause a genocide. And not care who dies in the process. Yeah. You deserve to be brought back to life and slain again. And that is how the sacking of Ker Morin happened. That's interesting. That's the part I didn't really know. This is the last time I allow any of you to ever hesitate. Decide. But they hate us. There'll always be another monster, Geralt. That is Geralt, yes. And this is the Geralt we start to know and love. Yes, that is. Let's have a look. Okay, so that was The Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf. And I enjoyed it, I did. You know, I, I do like the world of The Witcher. I think they've got a lot of things right with the variety of characters and how dark it can get, the interesting monsters. But man, man, I fucking hated Tetra. I hated her. I mean, I mean that, that, that's not saying anything bad about the, the show or even the actress that played her. I, I think they actually did a good job with the character and the voice sounded good. But I hated her mindset on everything. You know, what a vile, vile person. And the, 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 she manages to use her hate filled heart to coerce the court and convince a king who didn't give a shit about anything anyway. He was more concerned about his uh, twisted mustache in the mirror, you know. So, she pretty much got away with whatever she wanted, and she managed to coerce him into slaughter, genocide. Genocide 2.0, since they happily slaughtered all the elves as well. I mean, that is a big part of the Witcher lore, isn't it? How the elves connected with the humans, and taught them everything they knew about magic and the world and things like that then once humans got that information they slaughtered the elves tossed them away like yesterday jam as soon as you didn't need them anymore and to be honest i i think the witch world does a great job of kind of representing our real world and the real world is full of hate by everyone. You know, people are just bad for this planet. We are selfish, we are rude, ignorant. It's actually why I, I, I struggle with people in general. I, I, I think a lot of people fall into that category and it, it's just it's difficult to deal with it was interesting following Vesemir so like I said at the beginning I have had very little understanding of Vesemir other than what you see in the Witcher games which is minimal but he is like a, a fun loving character and you hear about a few stories of young Vesemir from 
Geralt and the guys once they're drunk in Kaer Morhen. So apart from that, you don't really know much about it. It was interesting to hear how he had very little care about how the witches were made. He didn't pay attention to it. He didn't get involved in the process. His whole goal since he first saw that witcher at the beginning of the movie was to make coin, get away from his past life and live in the now. Which a lot of people despised in this show. You know, Ilion at the beginning didn't like that idea. You've got Tetra who berated him over that fact. In Philip Andrew, he also had that same idea, you know, you're following the coin and not your heart. Well, that is life. That is the reality of life. You know, you're living your own life. You are getting yourself out of a poor existence. Giving yourself a reason to live and making the most of your time. I feel like most of us don't do that. You know, you're living in this monotony of society, working your nine to five job, stacking shelves or something. For what reason? What is the actual purpose? Like, I find it it's weird you spend your entire year working so you can afford that one holiday a year or well, most people do but that, that's the cycle you're on you work so you can take a break it's a weird trickery that's gone on somewhere down the line I mean, watching how it all transpired as well was actually really cool. It turned out Declan was behind a lot of it. Him and the mages at Kaer Morhen, who came to the realisation that the only reason the humans were allowing them to live was because of the monsters. And as soon as the, they've done their job and slayed the monsters, well then again, they get put into the, the pile of monsters and they're going to be slain. So he came up with the idea of creating more monsters, new, scarier and more powerful monsters, so the witches are going to be in the band more than ever. And it's a horrible thing, but you can understand the mindset. I mean, didn't Tetra say, how, how can you you do this, all you care about is obviously the coin and not about the people. But they've got no reason to care about the people and people don't care about them. The witches care about not dying and then getting the coin so they can live some kind of existence. I mean, that, that's bad. But then you've got Tetra who was put in this position of power with her sorceress abilities. She was trained up to have them. She was breaking the rules by using her fire spells. And so, so she didn't have, she didn't care for the authority of the place she came from. She used her position of power to spread hatred and let a single bad experience control a mass genocide and the way she went about it because she couldn't get exactly what she wanted she had to set up and use her and, and use her ratty abilities she had to use her ratty personality to come up with this conniving plan of destroying the den of that the Ketsu was that, was that the name they called it? Ketsu 
Kenzu. Can't quite remember. Yeah, buried their home and blamed it on the witches, causing a frenzy. And when it came to the actual battle, she had no care about using the monsters and sending the monsters to go fight the witches. So her hatred towards monsters isn't that bad, is it? She's happy to kill one set and then send a bunch off. It's like, your thought process is stupid. Absolutely stupid. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad she died at the end there. She, did, she really needed to. She's a horrible, horrible person. But even the tricky trickery at the end tricked Vesemir into slaughtering Eliana and the mage under an illusion that it was in fact Tetra and the half-breed. Like, how could you let your hatred go that far into using those kind that, that kind of trickery, you know? It's just, it's just foul behaviour. And they were also sent because obviously the witches are on the side of the elves because they're willing to help. So what a disgusting race. I mean, the place just needs a comet. It needs a comet. Finish it off. No, I, I don't think people are, have the ability to actually become better and get over all of the issues. Now you fix one issue and everyone pops up. It's just pe what people are. And it's a sad reality, but I don't think it, it, it's not going anywhere. No, no, this is going anywhere. Because many years later in the games and in the Witcher series, you can see it. It's still an issue, isn't it? In the series, we meet Villavendral again, who is still in hiding. He, yeah, he's still in, in hiding and elves are still being slaughtered and having their ears clipped and things like that. I mean, the, the games did a similar thing in, was it Witcher 3? Where, where the sorceresses were being captured and slain. For a similar reason. But based on the stories and all the things they've done, they are very hateful group of people who use their power poorly you know a, a lot of the issues that you go through in the games and even in the series was caused by sorceresses and mages who have a lack of care for anything for anyone so I, I wonder how they feel about that You got one coming. But as you know, in, in the games, at the time, didn't know much about the the law. So you know, you, you're on their side with protecting them. But the reality is, you shouldn't be. Perhaps as individuals, I guess. But then again, that's I guess that's similar to Tetra. You're using your hatred to justify. A mass slaughtering. So, yeah, it's not. It's difficult. It is difficult. But yeah, th this was a, a really interesting watch. I, I loved the animation style of it. It worked really well. Also, I have just started reacting to Hunter Hunter, which is my first ever anime that I've watched, and I'm really enjoying that. If you're interested in that, check it out. But th this was interesting it was very fast paced animations and some of the movements they used were were very creative you know like the, the monsters that were flying were moving faster than the scenery the parallax effects 
And I think it, it allowed a lot more creative freedom with the universe. And the, the designs of the monsters and the combat, and how that's displayed. What one criticism I would have when it comes to the art style, I guess, or not necessarily the art style, but I guess this, this in general would be in the games and the series, and I keep mentioning it, but that's what I've got to base on. Uh, the spells and the hits seem a lot more loud and violent. You know, I think that's the best way of explaining it. With the sound effects, it just didn't boom, you know. Like it, in the series, it was the the first episode where you really get to see Geralt in action, where he slays a bunch of the bunch of men in the village in uh, Blaviken. The first time when he splits the crossbow bolt in half and then shoves the sword in the guy's head and then through the back. Like it was gruesome and the sound of the cracking bones and the blood was, it was horrible but it really added to the scene in my opinion and I think that's what was missing here, the, the impact wasn't heavy. I, I don't know if, is that possible to do that in animation? I'm not sure. But nevertheless, it, it was great. It was great. Okay, yeah, so if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date. Let me know in the comments section what other movies you think I should watch. When the season two of The Witcher series comes out, I likely will be reacting to that as well. Obviously, I've watched season one probably six or seven times by now through watching it on my own and other reactions and stuff like that. So it'd be good to do one for myself. Also, what, what do you think about this show or this movie in general? Did you enjoy it? Did it live up to your expectations? Where would you rank it in terms of Witcher Media? But yeah, thank you for watching.